like grilling at night also. I enjoy it. It's cool out because during the day here, it's well over 100, up to 105, and it's sunny. That's why I built this, to stay out of the sun. But anyway, here we go. We're going to make something quick here. It's one of my favorites. And um, it's just a simple, simple, simple pancake mix with bananas. Okay? Very easy to make. Got to keep mixing it. Keep the consistency good. And over here I have my diced bananas. It's a very simple process. I've already incorporated my cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So right now I've got a spot of oil. And I'm just going to put a little bit of oil down. Tiny bit. I don't need a lot. And I got my paper all ready to rock and roll. And I use the most interesting tool, this. That's awesome. I like them. They sort of keep things together, if you know what I mean. And I use this. Okay, you're going to ask why in a minute. Well, sometimes your grill isn't exactly level, or this might not be level. And the egg will seep out the side, so I put this on as weight. Okay. So, that will look good this. Just switch it around, take a couple of spots. And I'm going to crank up the heat a little bit. And with the remaining of this, okay, I'm going to coat mine inside of this. Okay, these need to be coated. I could use that or I could use this. I keep oil on hand all the time. This works well. But you got to oil them up. You have to oil them up. Otherwise the eggs will stick to the sides. Some people use a, a spray. I didn't use spray this time. I thought I'd try this out and see how it works. Everybody likes modern technology, especially with sprays. Okay, now we're going to let the grill get very hot. The grill has to get nice and hot, man. And it just, oh, it just works out so good. Okay. Meanwhile, I like my little outside kitchen. It's pretty neat. I keep all my utensils available. Everything is available for me. Lots of pans, blocks. My deep cooker, that makes good for when you're doing a stew or an adobo. Mmm. And I even have my fish nets. Okay, over here is where I... I cook a lot of my fish on that. Reason being is it, it works very nicely. Ooh, you hear that? That's just about ready. So, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to take this oil. Churn my cloth. done. Some people use butter or even wax paper. My mom used to cook on black iron and she used to use a wax paper when she made this. She used to just use a wax paper and go over it and the wax would um, coat the grill so this way she wouldn't have to worry. So now I'm going to place these. I'm going to do a threesome. Okay, my grill is hot, very hot, I'm going to get this ready, and 
I'm using a measuring cup because it's easier to pour. Stir this up. You have some leaking, unfortunately. That wasn't fast enough, but it happens. That's no big deal. That'll be my guide. That'll be a little guide for me as to say when everything's just about getting done. Okay? Still gonna work. Not a big deal. I got a little scrambled egg over here too. Okay. So if that interests you, push it over here. Make yourself a scrambled egg. Yep. Scrambled eggs are good too, you know. And that's probably what I'm gonna do with that. Scramble that baby up. Okay. This is cooking. I'm going to drop some banana in here. You haven't seen the fun part yet. As we get older, we like to have fruit in our cereal. Fruit. Fruit on this, fruit on that. Everything's got to be fruits and fiber, all that good stuff. We find we can't eat with the hot peppers we used to. Unfortunately, as we get older, maybe some of us could, some of us can't. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. Still gonna cook. I'm not gonna waste it. Don't like to waste. Make anything out of everything you can. Okay. Now this I'm done with. I'm gonna hang that back up. And I don't worry about the grease that's on here because when I use these for my next project, they'll already have lubrication. Now I'm gonna add. Some more banana. I want that banana in my eggs. Or 
This is um, an interesting little mixture that I got off YouTube. It's uh, pretty cool. I thought I'd try it out. It's not going to hurt. Spatula ready. And I'm almost ready to rock and roll. These are cooking. I can call that baby screen of that. Doesn't matter as long as they're cooked. That's what's important. Cook them up. That's what's very important. So, okay, these should almost be done. And what I'm going to do is trim the sides a little bit to let some of this gravitate down. Now when I peel this up, sometimes it comes down the sides a little bit. And that's okay, I'm not worried about that a little bit. Some people say, well, I'm going to leave it longer. And I found out what happens is, you leave it longer, that works. But you burn the other side. So I don't mind if a little bit drips down. Because I'm just going to flake it away. And use it for scrambled egg. Okay. See, that's okay by me. Yeah, it's not perfectly done. This point, there's some scrambled egg. Look at that. Mm. That's some pretty decent scrambled egg. Let me wipe this off. It's clean. Somewhat clean. Now I'm going to pull this away. Okay. And that. I can choose to leave this or peel it away. Peel it away. This way it looks somewhat round. Doesn't look too bad. Not bad at all. Look at that golden brown. Oh my gosh. Golden brown, that's what I like. Everything that uh, people tend to say have high heat, hot heat. For some things I guess it's alright. Myself, I like to cook slow and long. I've never had a problem with that. And I know some things you can't cook slow and long. I understand that. And the eggs are just about done. Okay. These are only going to take a few minutes on each side. Don't forget the bananas cooking away here. Scrambled eggs looking good. I was going to put some pineapple in it, but I didn't want to cut up a whole pineapple for just a little bit of stuff. And I love pineapple, but... 
Okay. take a little bit of rotating and stuff, so it all works out at the end. But these are, these are fantastic, you know, I mean, sometimes I do my eggs and they're perfect, and I put them on an English muffin. So, perfect size for an English muffin. Quick on-the-go meal. Especially if you're driving to work, you can quickly stop off, pull off the side of the road, have a little coffee or juice and have a half of your egg sandwich, drive a little more, stop again. You know, I guess it depends on where you are and what your laws of the road are. Some places you can't, you can't drink and drive uh, beverages, meaning coffee. quick meal, just for tonight, tomorrow morning, or snack at midnight. It depends what I want to do. I just love cooking. Mm -hmm. 